And what you see is three things. First of all, all of Japan suddenly moves toward moves uh, to the east, towards the trench, sort of the opposite do direction that, that the plate is moving towards Japan. The Pacific plate moves roughly westward, right? So, uh, and so what you see is Japan moving to the east. Then you see it move to the west, and then it moves to the east again, and then you get the big earthquake. So that's the wobble. East, west, east. Michael Bevis, a professor in the Ohio State University School of Earth Sciences, explains new research showing that in the months before a massive earthquake rocked Japan in 2011, the country wobbled, shifted noticeably. The finding, published April 29th in the journal Nature, could be one more clue to help geologists predict future large-scale earthquakes. Yeah, there are other little wobbles going on, but nothing like the big wobble that happened just before the earthquake. The earthquake devastated Japan, launching tsunami waves 40 plus feet high and killing nearly 16,000 people. It also caused several nuclear reactors at a major nuclear power plant to melt down, prompting the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. Earthquakes can be on the verge of happening for a long time. So you've got this building up stress. If, so if I, if I imagine like this is the upper plate and like and its color represents the degree of stress, it starts out low stress, but the longer it's locked, the redder and redder it gets as the stress level gets to the breaking point. And then when you're at the breaking point, anything that just pushes you over the top can be the straw that broke the camel's back, right? I'm Laura Ehrenshield for Ohio State News.